Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Miska Jahan and in today's video we're going to be talking about outfit tips, must haves for hijabis who are in the workplace. Uh, it's going to be a very fun video. So my name is Miska Jahan, if you haven't watched any of my videos I post about how to make the hijab life easier. I talk about modest fashion, the hijab, the Muslim lifestyle. So if that's something that you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. Inshallah, I'll be posting more content around this topic. And um, yes, it's gonna be very fun. So obviously I'm not gonna take all the credit for this video. I actually reached out to Noor Kator, who was uh, very generous and she gave me a lot of tips to share with you guys. The reason I reached out to her is because she makes ready to wear suits, separates, she also does custom bespoke suits as well and she really knows how to dress the modest woman in a way that's really classy put together and I'm so honored to be working with her for this video. It's not sponsored, I just reached out to her and she was kind enough to give me some information so I really wanted to talk about her business with you guys. So if you are in the situation where you know you're trying to get ready for an interview, you want to look your best in the workplace and uh, you don't want to feel like frumpy, like you want to dress modestly but at the same time look smart. Make sure to check out Noor Couture. She has a number of items that will really meet your needs. So make sure to check her out. Let her know I sent you over there. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the tips. First tip I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And this is something that's pretty obvious, but doesn't, you know, common sense is not always common practice. Um, and this is something that I can use some help with too, which is to make sure that all of your clothes are ironed or dry cleaned. There are so many YouTube videos nowadays that show you how to like professionally iron your clothes. So yeah, there's pretty much no excuse nowadays for not ironing your clothes. Like there's so much information out there and you can always like, if you just don't want to do it, you can always um, take them to like a dry cleaners and um, they'll take care of it for you. So yes, if you want to look smart, you want to look put together, you have to put in some effort. And uh, personally, I am notorious in my family for not ironing my clothes. But yeah, once I got out of the college phase and uh, I became more of an adult, I've taken on this practice and uh, trust me, it just looks so much better, so yes. Okay, so the next tip from Noor Couture is to make sure you shop at places that sell matching separates. Now the reason behind this, the whole um, idea of this is that when you're dressing modestly, obviously the type of fit that you're going for is going to be different from the typical woman, right? So when you go to the store, let's say for me personally, I have wider shoulders, so I know that um, in regards to like a blazer or a dress, a top, I know that I'm generally going to go for the large or extra large size just because I don't want it to be tight around my shoulders, right? So let's say I have like really small thin legs, okay? Obviously that's not the case, but um, you know, let's say I do. So if I go to a store that just sells um, both the blazer and the trouser together as one unit, I'm gonna have a hard time because my shoulders are large or extra large, but my legs are thinner. So um, I don't want to have an overly baggy fit to my trousers, if that makes sense. So it's just better to go to a store that sells separates. So that way you can find the perfect modest fit that's not too frumpy but at the same time not too skinny so yes that's a reason why you'd want to shop in that type of store okay so next tip is to find a coat a blazer that has lining so this is a wonderful example over here it's this really long like blazer coat sort of situation i actually purchased this from forever 21 from their um contemporary line so actually if you go to forever 21 and you check out their contemporary line they have a lot of nice items it's kind of like one of their more uh, pricier lines if that makes sense. The stuff you're gonna find over there is a lot more well-made It doesn't look as cheap if that makes sense And um, it's just like it's just like one of their better lines. So make sure to check it out But yeah, if you look closer upon further inspection, you'll notice that it does have a lining now the reason behind Lining is just because if a garment like this does have lining it just sits better on the body if that makes sense the lining prevents like the jacket from having outlines of whatever you're wearing underneath. Hopefully that makes sense. But like, let's say you have like a bunch of crazy seams on your top, on your dress, whatever. If you wear a jacket with lining, it's gonna have like that nice smooth look to it that you want whenever you're, you know, working or going to an interview. It's just like that nice, smart, smooth look. So that is why it's better to have a jacket with lining. Now, obviously, you know, if you live in a hot climate like I do, um, that is not always something that you want to have but generally it's like fall winter spring sort of weather then it is nice to be able to have a jacket that has lining so here is an example of a jacket a blazer coat outerwear that doesn't have lining which is okay right but obviously like if I do wear something right 
it will show underneath what I'm wearing underneath this, if that makes sense, right? So the lining does create like this extra layer to make everything look smooth, but obviously if it's summer, you don't really care. You just want something that's gonna cover you up, make you look really nice, put together, chic, but at the same time, um, is not gonna like make you burn in the heat, right? This jacket doesn't have a lining, but it is really nice. I actually got this from the thrift store. Yeah, it's like this really nice long coat. I know that if I wear this, I'm gonna look really smart. One thing that you do want to watch out for though, if your jacket, your blazer, whatever, doesn't have a lining, is to make sure that the interfacing is sewn down. This is actually a good example right here. So I'm going to open up this jacket. So if you don't know what interfacing is, it's kind of like this material that is sewn into fabric or ironed into fabric so that way it creates a little bit more structure to the garment. That's like the quickest way I can explain it. Um, but yeah, you want to ideally find something that has the interfacing sewn down or sewn into the garment because there are times where you will find, like if, if something is cheaply made, the interfacing will almost like flap out and uh, will be visible even when you're wearing it and it just looks really cheap and it's like very obvious to like anyone who's looking at the jacket or the garment. It wasn't well made if that makes sense. So this is an example. Okay, so this black material right here, this is actually interfacing, right? And uh, as you can see, it is sewn in. So when you're wearing it, it doesn't show, right? Because it's sewn in. Now let's say it wasn't sewn in, right? It's kind of just like flapping out. Like, would you want to wear a jacket that has the interfacing showing? Obviously not, just because, again, it just does look cheap and you can, like anyone can tell that it's not well made. So ideally you want interfacing sewn in, right? Yes. Okay, so the next tip I'm gonna be sharing you with you guys um, is about long skirts. So personally, I don't really wear a lot of long skirts just because I feel like they affect my mobility. Like, I prefer trousers, I prefer pants. But Norcouture made sure to mention this to me and I just felt like it was something that needed to be said, needed to be uh, included in this video because I think it's very important because a lot of women do wear longer skirts, especially in the modest community. So basically what she was saying is that if you do wear a long skirt, make sure to wear a lining underneath, a little slip underneath. Now what this does when you put it on underneath your skirt, and they tend to be very thin, it's not like something that's gonna like make you sweat and feel gross, right? When you wear a skirt with a slip underneath, it just creates like that nicer shape and um, it allows the skirt to be more modest if that makes sense right so if basically if the sun is beaming through your skirt you're not going to be able to see the outline of your legs you're not going to see like any panty lines or whatever you, do you see what i'm saying kind of like how i showed you with that coat earlier with the blazer if you have a lining it just sits better on the body it just has like more of that smooth look to it it just gives you that smart chic look that you're going for so yes okay so the next tip i'm going to be giving you guys and it's pretty much the last one is to make sure that you find a good pair of trousers a good pair of trousers are going to take you so far just saying this is something that i actually purchased from h&m recently and it's this wide leg pant over here i know if i wear this with a little heel like this this is something that still looks professional but at the same time it's not like too crazy obviously um it does give you a little bit of height and it just complements the trouser all right that sums up this video hopefully this was helpful for any of you guys who are um in the professional workplace and uh are working in a more like corporate sort of setting if you felt like i missed anything up please feel free to share your tips in the comment section if you like this video please feel free to like it that would really help me out so much um, again, thank you to Nor Couture for sharing your tips. I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.